Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I am glad you're here today and I hope these tutorials are gonna be helpful for you. Today we're gonna to learn how to paint a castle. Thank you to my patrons who helped me vote on the topic. If you'd like to give a vote on what I should teach next and see these videos commercial free, please check out the Patreon page down below in the description. All right, let's go over the materials needed for today. For brushes, we need these blending brushes. One will work, but it's faster and saves a lot of time to use two. So I recommend having two. We need some of these artist loft brushes. This is a number eight and this is a number four. They're both kind of like filbert style. Any half an inch flat brush and any detail brush for the details. And we need an artist sponge. They come in a pack. It works great for bushes and trees and grass, things like that. You pick and choose which one you like to use best and I'll show you how to use that. And that's it for brushes. Let's go over the paint. I like to use acrylics and we need titanium white, cadmium medium yellow, naphtho medium red, ultramarine blue, and carbon black. We need a palette of some sort and a palette knife. I'm using a palette paper over my palette to save time. I just bunch it up and throw it away. We need a jar of water right here to put your brushes and use some of the water while we paint. I'll show you. I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas here. I bought it straight as it is and you can prepare your canvas any way you'd like. I'm just gonna paint straight on it right here. And if you have this, you can use it, a hair blow dryer, to dry out your first couple coats. And we need some paper towels. And I think that's it for the materials. I like to describe what we're gonna do here first before we start mixing our paint in our palette. So we're gonna start from the furthest distance and work our way whatever is closest, right? And so um, we're gonna add the sky here and then some clouds after that and then we will add the faraway trees and then um, the sky will be about, you know, about like almost halfway and covering this canvas and then the rest will be some trees far away in the back. Castle will be offside about right here. Um, it'll be right here and then there will be like a little um, road going to the castle, okay? And then there'll be like a grassy path here and things like that. Let's have fun and see what happens and begin to mix our paint. Okay, let's pick up our titanium white and our palette. And we're gonna create a couple colors here. And um, so start off with about, you know, about this much, a little more than a thumb. Okay, and then um, right next to it, about the same amount. And then the third one a little less and the fourth one a little less. We always start like with our white. I like to start with my white first, right here. And now we're gonna pick up our yellow. We're gonna kind of make the sky like uh, pinkish orangey going into like this reddish blue, almost uh, purplish color. We'll see what happens. I have a plan. Sometimes it turns out completely different, which is pretty cool. I like it, I like to see what happens. So we're gonna pick up our yellow now and add it right in here, just a small amount, barely any, you know, barely any right there. And a little more here, okay? And then a little more here, like this. And let's add one, just a small amount. So it's like almost the same and it gets, you know, bigger right here goes back to small, okay? Hopefully you could see that. Next, we're gonna pick up our red and let's add the red right in here, very small amount, barely touching anything, just a small amount. You could see a little touch right there of red and a little more here, okay? And then a lot more here like this. All right. Next, 
and actually I'm gonna add another red right in here just a little bit like this okay now let's take our blue ultramarine blue and we're gonna put it right in here okay mix it in like this all right and let's add the blue a little bit in here like this all right now I'm just adding a small amount I'm not adding too much yet because I want to see what colors it gives me and then we'll you know add more uh, colors if we need to okay so this is what I have and actually I'm gonna add a little bit of white on both of these all right let's do that real quick so I have my white and I'll add just a little bit on both of them not too much like this maybe a little less here all right and I'm gonna add some black just a touch in here I want that to be our darkest color so here we have it and let's add a small amount of black with our blue like this let's quickly mix these colors and see what it gives us and if we need to add more we, we will all right our palette knife and our first color here should be pretty bright with a hint of yellow in there but it's gonna be very bright bright as you can see all right that's good enough right there I like it I'm happy with my first color my second color right here okay I like my second color right there and then our third should be leaning towards a darker orange like a peachy color since we added some white in there too okay right there all right now this color so i think i'm going to add some white actually to this red so let's go ahead and do that so it won't be too dark so let's just add white about like this much okay so let's mix that in that's good enough right there okay our next color and obviously you could see I need to, I definitely need to add some white in here because that's a dramatic change between those two so I'm gonna go ahead and add some white so it won't be so crazy okay you know about this much you could see it's a like a light purple color that's more like it the change here between those two is you know softer it's not as dramatic it'll be easier to blend that way so basically in the sky you could choose any you know colors you want you know as a sunset or more leaning towards blue as long as they have a nice like a you know a little bit of a you know darker shade each time um, you, you you mix your paint you know so here you have it in our final color here I think I'm gonna definitely add some red in here because I want it I want it to be actually like a cherry color more of a 
you know, like a more of a red sky. So let's add a little bit of red right there. And let's see what that gives us. Okay. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of white to this because it is pretty dark right there. Okay, this much. That's more like it. It's like a darker purple. You could see right there. That's good. I like it. And I'm ready to, you know, put my first layer of, of the sky colors down. Okay, now let's pick up our water jar right here and one of our blending brushes. And we're going to dab it in halfway about like this. Okay, squeeze it out a little bit. Not too much, but squeeze it out. There's still a little bit of water, maybe squeeze it out a little more so it won't, the water won't drop like this, okay? And now we're gonna start with the lightest color right about here and just blend everything in. So let's pick that color, all of it out like this. So let's start adding right a little bit under, you know, smaller, you know, under halfway. So let's just go from here. Just pick everything up like this and just put it in everywhere. Okay, just like that, nice and easy. Okay, now I'm gonna dab just the tip of my brush in the water and I always do this before I pick up my next color like this and so it can run smoothly on my canvas and then pick up my second color. Okay. And just put it on the bottom. You can even bring it down lower here like this. It's okay if you blend it in even lower, just a little bit, it's totally fine. Okay. Next. I'm going to dab just the tip in the water, not too much, and pick up my third color. Okay, third color here. And then dab just the tip in the water again, pick up my fourth color. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up my dab the tip in the water, my fifth color. You see what I'm doing? I'm kind of blending it, but I'm not focused on blending it yet. I'm just adding the colors in quickly first. So. Like that. And then my final color, I'm going to do that real quick. Right here. Just add it right on top. Dab the brush in the water just a little bit. And add the rest, all of it in like this. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm gonna either use this brush to clean my brush out and use a paper towel to quickly dry it out or to save time, I have my other blending brush here and I'm gonna use that and start blending everything in nicely. So first things first, I'm you, you know, it's dry and I just lightly 
swirl it and pull the paint upwards, okay? And work fast because the paint acrylic dries a little bit quicker, but you see I'm kind of dabbing it lightly and pulling the paint upwards. And that's how you get a nice blend. And don't focus, don't try to bring the colors down. Just focus on blending and pulling upwards and then you can come back, clean the brush and do the same process a few times. But you could see I'm working on one spot very gently, lightly, not too fast. You could see a nice smooth going. And then after this, we will add clouds. So don't try to, you know, try to make it too perfect because we're gonna go over and add some clouds in our sky. Some of this is gonna be covered. There you have it. Okay, so now we have a clean water and our brushes are clean. So now this is almost dry, but so I can have it fully dry, I'm gonna quickly dry it out with this hair blow dryer. Okay, so we did a quick blend here. You could still see some transition going on and, and maybe a little bit of the brush strokes, but that's okay because we're gonna be adding some clouds. So some of that is gonna be covered. But if you were to, you know, have the sky mainly open, then we would spend a little more time, you know, blending and making it a nice smooth transition. Totally up to you. But for this scene, we're gonna be adding some more clouds. So let's go ahead and mix a few more colors for that. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my palette and clean out some of the paint here with a paper towel. And right here we have a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna mix that in. It's gonna be a darker, like a darker orange color right here. And I think I'm gonna just mix it in. Remember this pink? Just take part of this pink, it's okay. I just want it to be, you know, a darker color right here. That's good enough, like a darker pink, I guess. Like that. And I'm gonna quickly mix this in with my orange. And I'm gonna add some yellow in here because I want this to stand out a little more. So let's do that. I added a little bit of yellow here, okay? I want it to be more vibrant. There you go, that's much better. And I also added a little bit of yellow there and I'm just gonna, you know, mix it in with whatever color I have left here. It doesn't really matter. I just, um, I just want this to be like a yellow, leaning towards orange color, just a little bit like this, okay? So it's still pretty yellow, but that's what we want. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean my palette knife real quick. And I decided to add one more color, red right here, and then maybe take some of this color right here, mix it in with the red. That'll be our darkest. Right here, that's nice. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna pick up our number four and dab that in the water fully in the water like this. So it could be nice and damp, squeeze it out a little bit and it makes it nice and flexible. And let's start out with this yellow right here, this leaning towards orange. 
with this bright yellow right here, our brightest color, okay? And we're gonna start adding the clouds Let from far away. Let's just add some in here. Very, very, totally up to you. But they're very far away, small clouds. And I'm gonna clean my palette, or I mean my brush real quick, so I won't um, have too much paint in there. And I'm gonna blend some of that in, so it won't be too sharp. Just blend it in. Like that, there you go. Continue. And we're gonna go up in here. And let's just carry that all the way up in here. And I'm randomly adding this yellow wherever I think will look cool. Maybe add a few more here. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water just a little bit and and then dab it onto your paper towel so you won't have too much water on your brush and just add some far away clouds. Just blend that in randomly like this. There you go. Let's add a little bit going up in here. Okay, so our castle is going to be here, so this part is going to be covered, but let's just continue adding anyway. Um, so don't spend too much time in this area. So now we're going to take this orange right here and add part of it in here. You could see um, it's a little bit still on the darker side. So I dab my brush in the water and I'm going to add some clouds in here. That's good right there. And I'm gonna dab my brush in the water, just the tip, and then pick up some of this yellow right here. And right underneath this color where we added, I wanna blend that in so it won't be such a you know, crazy change from this light to, um, I wanna make it smoother. So I'm gonna blend that in real quick. Maybe not everywhere, but just, just a little bit on some of them add that yellow, maybe in here, too. Okay, so I'm gonna dab my brush just a little bit in the water again, pick up more of this yellow, and try to dim this down a bit. pressing onto my canvas and swirling it, trying to carry that paint upwards. And it, you know, the clouds naturally create themselves. You could see, I don't have a plan. So there's no right or wrong. Just have fun with it. See what you could come up with. 
maybe add a little bit in here of this yellow. All right, moving on. Let's dab our brush in the water again and smooth some of this area out a little bit. Now I'm going to change my brush to a number eight. Do the same thing, dab it in the water so it can be nice and um, soft, your brush, and then squeeze it out. And then let's use this red right here that we mixed <clears throat> and add it right in here. And do the same thing like we did with this one. You could see the color. Well, I, I grabbed a little too much water, so I'm gonna just dab it in my paper towel and pick up this color. It's okay though. And then just kind of quickly sketch it out, sketch your shape of the cloud out. Okay. So maybe there's some clouds that are se separating here. All right, add a few more of these in here, just randomly that and now maybe add a little more in here and now I'm gonna actually continue covering this side of the sky I know it might look a little bit messy but just bear with me And I'm going to clean my brush out in the water and just dry it out with a paper towel and pick up this color, remember? This orange color and then the same thing how we did with the yellow. We're gonna do the same thing here, right underneath this red. Just blend that orange color in. So it won't be such a, you know, crazy transition. and even go up a little bit with that orange. Dab my brush just a tip in the water. Right underneath this darker one. And then just blend it in as best as you can. You know, don't worry about making it perfect or trying to, to spend so much time. I mean, it's totally up to you. You create it the way you want to, your clouds to look, okay? And carry that paint outwards like this. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this yellow and I just wanna add some in here. And mix it in with the orange. I'm 
Okay, now remember this color right here we mixed, the darkest one. We're going to do the same thing and add some right in here. I want to make this these clouds a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit more. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water just a little bit. Just a tip in the water, you can see. Not too much. If you got too much water, just dab it in your paper towel. And I usually keep the paper towel on my table. I just dab it on my table here real quick so I can continue. And just blend it all in. Maybe add some in here, some of these darker ones. Okay, now switch quickly to number four and clean it out. And then let's use some of this orange, right? Some of this orange, maybe mix it in a little bit with this uh, yellow here. And let's just add some, you know, some of the highlights from these clouds right underneath um, and, you know, separate them and uh, create like highlights in your clouds, okay? You could see we're starting to see shapes of clouds come to life. That's what we want. The light is hitting those clouds underneath and it's creating a nice glow. So just go over and your clouds could be a little bit different. You know, this naturally happened for me. So I'm just kind of going with the shape of my clouds. So I'm using this yellow here and just outlining some of these with water, maybe underneath here as well. Have fun and create them the way you want it to look. And you know, you don't have to overdo it. Just do it on some of the areas right here. You know, on just some of these clouds. And if your brush starts to dry out a little bit, just dab it in the water again. And the paper towel, 
and continue doing the same thing. Maybe let's add one right in here underneath. So I'm going to clean my uh, dab my brush on my paper towel because it's a little bit too wet. I don't want it too wet, but just a damp brush. Okay, add that nice yellow to your clouds. And maybe a little bit underneath here. Okay, now let's pick up this orange, a little bit of water, and let's continue adding just a little bit in here. So the castle is going to be here, but I'm going to continue adding my clouds. Just a little bit to fade in there. Let's take some yellow. Okay, back to our orange here, and I'm going to create. So I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water. And then I'm going to create a nice cloud that's going up this way. Like I said, this part's going to be covered with a castle. So I'm just taking it in a little bit. So I dab my brush in the water again. Continue adding this orange. Maybe add a little bit of the yellow. Just like that. Okay. So we'll continue adding this. Very lightly. And then here we're going to transition into adding a red right here, or pink, dark pink. Moving on, let's take part of this orange, maybe mix it in a little bit with this red, or just take this red, it's totally fine. And I wanna add, remember this cloud right here, let's pretend it connected there, and it's just going up like this, and it goes up like that. Okay, just this red. Just draw some little clouds there alone. Dab my brush in the water. Try to blend some of these in so it won't look too rough. Use some of this orange here because I like it, and let's create a blend of orange. Maybe 
be connecting here. All right, that's good enough. Now we're going to pick up our final red, this dark one, tap our brush in the water. And then we're going to just add a few darker ones right in here. Clean my brush out. You can see it's a little too wet. We don't want that. And then to smoothen that out, use this red here and just blend those in with a darker color. And let your clouds naturally develop a shape. And now we're going to do the same thing how we did with this one. And let's add some of the yellow highlights. So I just clean my brush real quick and pick up this yellow here and then just on some of these, add that yellow. Maybe this orange. Okay, you can mess around with the clouds as long as you want. This first part is done. You can take a break, totally up to you. But we're going to continue and let's add some faraway trees here and, you know, grass maybe here. Let's just add all that in there and create some shades for that. So let's pick up our black first and we'll create a couple colors. So let's just add it right here, about this much and maybe right there. Maybe let's start with two. Okay. Let's pick up our red. Add red next to this black. Same thing here, like this. And now we're going to pick up our yellow. And add some in here, just a little bit in here. And a little bit more in here, like this. Okay, maybe a little more like that. And now I'm going to add some white. Some white right here, just a little bit like this. Okay, and then a little bit here, not too much, maybe a little more here like this. Okay, let's quickly mix those colors in and see what it gives us. Let's start with the lighter one right here and quickly mix that in and see what color it gives us. I like it. It should be leaning towards like a green brownish color. That's what we want. Okay. So that will be our first color. Okay, our next one should be darker. And we're going to create one more and then we're going to start adding our trees. OK, 
Okay, that's good right there. Let's add white. And I'm going to clean out my you know, palette knife so I won't carry the darks just quickly with a paper towel and just a little bit of the white here and take part of this color, just part of it, and mix that in. And that will be one of our other colors. Let's just start with these and let's create our trees. Let's take our artist sponge and dab it in the water fully all the way in and then just squeeze it out so that it could be nice and soft right here. And then we're gonna start out with this darkest color right here that we have mixed and choose a corner that you like best. So choose just one corner. You can test it out like this right here and um, just choose a corner like this. Don't grab too much. Just grab a little bit first and then we're gonna create our trees, far away trees. Let's start from this corner and create some far away trees. And just dab it, you know, dab it in nicely. So let's take some more. Now very gently. We're gonna bring it down like this. Okay. And continue on here, adding your trees go up a little bit. And remember the castle is going to be right in here and it'll end right here. And then part of this is going to be where the road will be like that, something like that. So we're going to cover this side and this side. So now just quickly go up a little higher here. and just cover all of that in. Okay, just cover all of this in. And I'm just gonna quickly, randomly Blend that all in. That's our base color right here. Okay. Our base color. Do the same thing on this side. Just going to cover it all in. So I'm going to dab just a little bit in the water so it can run smoothly and continue covering the white part of my canvas. Okay, the same color.
Okay, now that you have your base coat laid down and it's covered, there you go. That's where our trees will be. I'm happy with it. And once, you're, once you did that, we're going to come back to this color now and, um, and just take part of it here and create some highlights and things in our trees. So let's just, just tap it gently on some of these. And I'm kind of making like a circular, you know, Continue. I'm gonna go in here, make it a little wider for this side. Okay. Let's do the same thing on this side a little bit, just a little bit on here. And fade it out. There, that's good right there. And now, remember this lightest shade. We're gonna do the same thing. And just make some of these stand out a little more. So I'm gonna use this area to make sure it stands out a little more over here. Okay, for now that's good enough. Okay, and now we're gonna just this yellow and a little bit of red, maybe take part of this and mix it in here. I want an orangey color. Okay. Maybe take a little more, mix it in there. I'm just gonna mix all of it in there like this, okay? And now I have this one leaning towards orange more and with my number eight uh, brush, I'm gonna just dab it and, and create a few highlights on top of some of these trees. Go over some of them. Okay, 
He's in this color. Okay, and now with a detail brush, dab it in the water and use this dark color and swirl it like this with water in this dark color. And we're gonna create some branches. For example, right here, let's just create a very skinny one attaching to some of these trees right here. And then here, do the same thing and attach some of these here. Maybe some in here and then some over there on top. And then the same thing, clean your detail brush, the same thing with this lighter color here that we, that we have mixed. We're gonna just go over some of these.
and the light is hitting right here so I'm, I'm drawing the highlights on my right side of the branches that I, or the tree trees that I added okay just stay consistent with it Once you have your you know tree branches added there, um, now use a little bit of white and part of this, just a little bit of this, not too much. Mix it in there, and this is our final detail for the trees. And then we're going to paint our castle. So there you have it. That will be our shade. Let's pick up the number four brush here, dry it out with a paper towel, and then we're going to use the same effect, the dabbing effect. And we're going to go over some of these branches and kind of follow our um, patterns of the trees. So right here on top. Maybe bring it down here a little bit. And just slightly, you know. Dab it in there. Okay, moving on. Let's add some in here.
Okay, so now once you're done playing around and adding your trees and details on the background of those trees, let's continue and um, draw our castle really quickly and add details to it. And we should be done pretty soon. So what I've got here is titanium white, okay, carbon black, and then red, and then a little bit of less carbon black right here and white. And then I've got red, yellow, blue, and white. So just a little bit of blue, more red, about the same amount of yellow and white. So let's quickly mix this first. It should give us a nice, like a brownish color. Right there, that's good. That will be our castle color right here. And then we'll add more details to it, but our base castle, okay? Color right here. And now let's quickly, I'm gonna clean my palette knife real quick. And let's mix this color next, should be gray. I'm going to add a little bit of blue onto my gray actually. And a little more white. Right in here. So blue and white and take part of this. Okay, part of it and mix it in. That's good enough right there. All right, and in our final color here, I'm gonna mix this one. Because the reason why I added red to my black because of the sky everything's like very warm colors and I want I want to be able to have my you know shadows and bricks to kind of have that nice red glow because of the warmth okay now let's sketch out our castle so our half an inch flat brush right here dab it in the water and squeeze it out. And let's just start with this dark color right here. We're gonna just sketch it out real quick, the shape of our castle. So I just added a little bit of water so it can run smoothly on my canvas. Okay, so the shape of my castle will be, so I'm gonna start from here. Like I said, some of this is gonna be covered. We're gonna start from right in here Go down like this. Okay. And then it's gonna go a little bit at an angle and then inside like this. There's one in here too, like that. Okay, I'm just quickly sketching it out and seeing how it would look. So we're gonna have our first little cone up here. Okay, and moving on, the next one will be right in here. And there will be another cone. Okay, moving on. All 
our chimney will be up here. Gonna detail it later. And then there will be another cone that and there's some little ones behind it's going to fade out about right in here going to go down and then curve here a little bit and then just fade it out. Okay. Dab my brush in the water so it can run smooth and continue outlining the chimney here. Let's make this a little bigger. Set another cone right in here. And I'll add one more. in here like this and I'm roughly drawing it out to see how I want my castle to look and then I will go back and add the details all those beautiful things in real quick but let's just continue adding the details of our castle So I'm going to add another one actually right in here, a very skinny one. Okay, continuing, and then here, we're going to have, that's where the gate will be, so I'm going to draw about like this big. Don't mind this, that was a little mistake there. 
And then this is going to be where our entrance will be to our castle. Okay, that's where it will be. We're gonna make it better, but let's continue. I'm gonna add another cone right in here. So now, this is where our gate will be. will go down like this and then this is where little pathway to our entrance and I'm roughly sketching it out There's going to be some rocks here, and there'll be like a little green pass, pasture or pathway going down here. Rocks will be here. Okay, so we have a quick sketch of the castle and the shape of it. Now let's go back and fill in our base coat of. Um, well, first of all, let's pick up our artist brush right here number four and remember this color right here let's just cover some of this on the bottom here with water in that color All right, that's good enough. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna clean my flat brush. And then, remember this color we mixed? This color is gonna be for our castle. Um, and let's just color everything in with that color. Roughly color everything in as the base. Okay.
let's take part of our black right here that we mixed and mix it in a little bit with this color because I want this color to go on to as a shadows to some of these areas for example here I want it to be a little darker so I'm going to just use this color right here it in a little bit with this make it as straight as possible we can we, we'll go over our entrance make it look nicer but for now Let's just add our base like this. Okay. Let's use this darker color and put it in right in here. Maybe even use this dark black color right here. I'm going to switch to my number four brush and just with water, I'm going to try to blend that out. Okay. my brush out just with a clean brush fade that out and now I'm gonna fill in these areas forgot one spot real quick let's use this one All right, now I'm gonna clean my brush and remember this um, color that we have mixed here, the lighter one. Let's add the lighter one right in here. Just on one side, okay? The left side.
go about halfway and stop. And now with this gray colored, a little bit darker on the other side, on the right side, add that darker one. Okay, use this light one. some of these right here. clean my flat brush and then just with the white here remember this white just white let's add in some details really quick
and I forgot this use this gray forgot to cover this area There you go. Okay, let's add a little bit of the white and this blue. Let's add it right on top right here. So I'm gonna dab it in the water so it can run smoothly. And just quickly add it like this in a very rough way. Same thing here, add a little bit of the white like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on some of these cones. Once you have your sketch down, we will go back and detail our, you know, make it as straight as possible just with a detail brush and this dark color we have mixed, dab it in the water. And with the water, this part will take a little bit of a while to kind of outline. So just outline your shapes and create windows and bricks and things like that. So first thing, let's just start from this one and um, let's just make it as straight as we can. You know, going up inside, cleaning it, cleaning it out a little bit. Same thing here. You know, make it as straight as possible, and then. Bring it down. And here. We're going to add a little line here. And you can, you know, it has a little loop here like this. So all these little details. Clean my brush out again using the black and correcting it. Dabbing my brush in the water, using the black again, and we will continue adding a straight line down like this. Maybe there's like a little shed here or something. Little far away windows.
can use your finger to kind of, you know, roughly blend those in. Like that. Okay, we'll come back to that. But that's good right there. Let's move on to the next detail. Well, actually, let's finish adding some of these. Let me add something in here. my brush in the water. So I'm going to use clean my brush and use a little bit of this white. It's okay if it's a different color. If it turns into like light gray, it's totally fine. And I'm gonna just add it right in here. Dab my brush in the water and mix it in maybe with this color so I can get a lighter color right here. And we will add just roughly like that. That's good enough. Let's pretend there's something going on over here. And some of these bricks are glowing. Okay. Let's add a little flag somewhere over here. So mix some black. You will barely see it, but it will be there. Connect it. Clean my brush, use a little bit of the white, and I'm gonna brighten some of these areas right here.
All right, moving on. Moving on, clean my brush using this black. And let's draw this area. Let's just loop it like this, bend it. Okay, and then we're gonna draw straight from here across like this. Dab your brush in the water so it can run nice and smooth. Okay. Now let's connect this area, bend it like this. Okay. Now underneath here, let's just bring it down straight down like that. And just roughly put the black and then use your finger to kind of bring it down, the darks down. Okay. Just a little bit. There you go. And now, dab your brush in the water again. Whoopsie. So easy to clean that, dab your brush with a paper towel and just, if it's not dry, if it's already dry, that's okay. We will come back to that with something else. There you go. All right, moving on with the black and water. Let's just add like a little bricks like this. Dab my brush in the water. Continue adding. All right, that's good enough. Now let's go over our door. Remember our door is gonna be red in here. Let's make it about that big. And just fill it in with the black. And it's okay if some of it's showing through like that. That's totally fine like this. Don't cover everything with black, just like this. All right. Dab your brush in the water. With black, continue drawing your and just carry it down all the way. Just gonna add some black in here, use my finger. Okay, 
that's good enough right there. Now I'm going to clean my brush and use some white and a little bit of this color we have. Just mix it around. Dab your brush in the water. And we're going to add some bricks. Kind of the same thing what we did with the black, just on some of these. A little too much there, that's okay. I'm gonna clean it and use black too. Correct that a little bit. Okay, and now here, I'm going to add white. And on top. Just with water and a little bit of white, randomly add that in and then maybe use a little bit of the black and do the same thing. All right, that's good enough there. Let's move on. With the black. Let's add a little something here, a little window or something there. Okay, just with the black, let's continue outlining our castle. And then here, we're going to add like a little loop. And it's just going to go in like this. And then go inside like that in here. And then we're going to continue and then add another loop right in here. This one's going to be a little 
bigger here. It's going to loop around and fade out like that. Okay, now just with the black, I'm going to cover that. This. All righty then, moving on. Let's add a little window there. Another window right in here.
And now we're going to take part of this and a little bit of white. And just mix that in real quick and use your number four artist sponge and take that and let's add some highlights. So just on some areas right in here, just go X motion, you know, back and forth. Same thing here. And here. Just lightly dab it and pull the paint, play with it, you know. Okay, and then clean your brush out and use this color, mix it in with the dark. And I just want to dim down this side a little bit. Just the sun water. Let's see, there's some bushes up here. and things like that. And then use this color to kind of, maybe it's like little, you know, hill, little hills here. Okay, and this will be where the green area will be. Grass. Okay. We're almost there. Let's add a little bit of green in here. I have a touch of yellow and blue. Maybe take part of the white and just mix that in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's good enough right there. Let's pick up our number eight brush, dry it out, and let's play with this color here and draw a pathway from here going down and ending right in here. Okay, there you go. That's our little path. Maybe you could see some of the green areas right in here, some of the trees things in the back. Okay. All right. 
right. And I'm going to use a detail brush to use this dark color and outline my little path. it in the water and use this black and use a little bit of this bluish green. And let's just add it right in here. Maybe mix it in with the black a little bit. Wanna make it a little bit faded. Okay. There you go, that's much better. And last but not least, let's finish up here. So remember this color here? Let's just put it all over everywhere. Cover it with um, your number eight or flat brush, whatever is easier. Just cover it like that. Maybe take a little bit of the darker one. Okay, we have here road and then this, let's just add it right in here. Randomly, just cover the white. Same thing here. Dab my brush in the water. And I'm gonna add it. Right on top like this and maybe add a dark area right in here. want that as a base okay all right and now take part of this and maybe a little bit of the black and just add it right in here and let it fade in to the lighter color, just like that. Okay, and now I have yellow, a little bit of red, and white. I'm gonna mix those in real quick. Okay, and then 
I'm going to add a touch of blue here. Mix that in. And then take part of the red here from this guy. I want to make it brown because I'm running out of this color. So I'm going to try to make it like this color. Perfect. That's great right there. And then I added white just in case on the side here. I'm going to clean my palette knife and mix this black here. It's the same colors pretty much as this just because we running out. So there you have it. We're almost home. And let's now quickly draw out our with a flat brush the shape of our road. Okay, so let's start out right in here. So um, let's just draw it from this corner. All the way in here. Okay, dab it in the water so it can run nice and smooth. And just make it as straight as possible. one in here there you go and just cover this with the dark Just with the dark like that and then same thing here Dab my brush in the water and I'm going to draw one in here. So Okay, and then one more line with this black. Let's draw out our final details. So this is going to be and just fade it in like this and then this one. that there you go I'm gonna clean my brush real quick and now I'm gonna use this brown one that we have mixed here and let's add it right on top of here and then here OK, 
Okay, so continue, maybe mix it in with the white a little bit. And let's try to draw as straight as possible from here. And getting smaller, like that. Okay. And then, same thing here, mix it in. clean my brush and just with the white maybe a little bit of this it's okay I'm gonna correct this just a little bit right here some white if you want to and just add some highlights just randomly like that just a little bit okay now I'm gonna pick up my detail brush and with the detail brush I want to draw out and make it a little nicer here so this corner Gonna end it like that. Doing the same thing how we did the bridge. We're just gonna go over and add the details. Go over and make it more straight.
and then add your bricks Okay, I'll be done for today. You can go ahead and detail the road, the castle, the clouds. You can come back to it later the next day. Totally up to you. Have fun with this and see what you can create. Thank you for being here and tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care and God bless.